and the law and the commandments which he wrote for you. Ye shall observe to do forevermore, and ye shall not fear other gods. And the covenant that I've made with you, ye shall not forget, neither shall ye fear other gods. But the Lord your God ye shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. How be it? How be it? They, we, would not hearken, but they, we, did after their former manner. So these nations feared the Lord and served their graven images, both their children and their children's children, as did their fathers, so did they until this day. That's what's wrong. Chapter 18, we're just about finished. Now it came to pass in the third year of Hosea, son of Elah, king of Israel, that Hezekiah, king of, ah king of Ahaz, that Hezekiah, the son of Ahaz, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty and five years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Abi, the daughter of Zechariah. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David his father did. He removed the high places and break the images and cut down the groves and break in pieces the brazen servant that Moses had made. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it, and he called it Nehushtan. He trusted in the Lord God of Israel, so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah, nor any that were before him. Talking about Hezekiah. For he clave to the Lord and departed not from following him, but kept his commandments, which the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord was with him, and he prospered whithersoever he went forth. And he rebelled against the king of Assyria and served him not. He smote the Philistines even unto Gaza and the borders thereof from the tower of the watchman to the fenced city. And it came to pass in the 40th year of King Hezekiah, which was the 70th year of Hosea, son of Elah, king of Israel, the Shah Manasur, king of Assyria, came up against Samaria and besieged it. And at the end of three years, they took it, even the sixth year of Hezekiah, that is the ninth year of Hosea, king of, Assyria, king of Israel, Samaria was taken. And the king of Assyria did carry away Israel, unto Assyria, and put them in Hala, and in harbor by the river of Gozen, and in the cities of Medes, because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord their God, but transgressed his, command, his covenant, and all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded, and would not hear them, nor do them. Now in the fourteenth year, King Hezekiah did Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, come up against all the fenced cities of Judah and took them. And Hezekiah, king of Judah, sent to the king of Assyria, to Lecha, saying, I have offered return from me that which thou puttest on me will I bear. And the king of Assyria appointed unto him, appointed unto Hezekiah, king of Judah, three hundred talents of silver, and thirty talents of gold. And Hezekiah gave him all the silver that was found in the house of the Lord and in the treasures of a king's house. And at that time did Hezekiah cut off the gold from the doors of the temple of the Lord and from the pillars which Hezekiah, king of Judah, had overlaid and gave it to the king of Assyria. And the king of Assyria sent Tartan and Rabsharish and Rabshaki from Lachis to King Hezekiah with a great host against Jerusalem. And they went up and came to Jerusalem. And when they were come up, they came and stood by the conduit of the upper pool, which is in the highway of the fuller's field. And when they had called to the king, there came out to them Elikim, the son of Hilkiah, which was over the household, and Shebna, the scribe, and Joah, the son of Asaph, the recorder. And Repshakah said unto them, Speak ye now to Hezekiah, 
Thus saith the great king of Assyria, What confidence is this wherein thou trustest? What confidence is this wherein thou trustest? Mama Pam, to read seven minutes every day. Because I'll do it for the Lord. You can trust and believe. I'll be on okay, I'm feeling. Because we done did this thing. We have just completed the read. Praise the name of the Lord. For Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And as I said, when I sat here, I couldn't do it. I'm too tired to do it. But we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us. Praise God. Okay, undefined. It may be on my end. I don't know. I think it may be my servant not doing what it needs to do. I'm going to check it out. We'll be working on it this weekend. Praise God. But I appreciate your coming. Hey, Jeanette Kelly, God bless you, sis. God bless you, sis. Get my letter, Patricia. I ain't seen her in a minute. Okay, so we concluded the read on 2 Kings, the 18th chapter and the 20th verses. So I have you all caught up to Monday. So if you want to understand all these kings and these killings and he took over, she took over, they took over. If you want to get a good understanding of what we've been reading, I suggest you go to EnduringWord.com. EnduringWord.com and look at the commentary and it will explain that there's a meaning Behind all of this, number one, God allowed all these wars and all this stuff to take place because people weren't paying him no attention. They weren't serving him. So God just turned his back on him. The United States better get their act together. The only thing holding the United States together is some of his people who are called by his name have humbled themselves and prayed and seek his face. And some of his people turned from their wicked ways. So God said, when we did that, when his people, the sinners is doing what sinners are supposed to do, sinning. And they're having a wonderful time doing it. So why can't y'all have a wonderful time serving God and trusting him to change things? Because he said, when we did that, he said, then he would hear from heaven. He said he would forgive our sin. And he said he would heal our land. Our land is sick. It's got corona. It's got snow coming in places they never snowed before. It did the earthquake, 8.5 earthquake in somewhere I see it over there on the news last night. The earth is groaning for the coming of the Messiah, for the coming of the Lord. He's already been here, but he's coming back again. So y'all, be right. Stay right. Don't worry about the world. Worry about you because we're the one with the salt of the earth. We are the salt of the earth. The Bible says if the salt loses savor, what's going to happen? If you don't have no salt in your food, you may as well not even eat it because it's nasty. Okay, what do the doctors say? We got to put a little seasoning in your food because you can't eat it if it's not, it's not palatable. Praise God. All right, in conclusion, in conclusion, thank you, thank you. I see you. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Praise God. In conclusion, I thank God for each and every one of you. I did go to the class today at 8 a.m. I got to be up again at 8 a.m. That is just my time. My body don't do that. But we can do, you see, I just read it. We can do all things through Christ that gives us the strength. So I'm going to try to turn in early tonight. I'm going to try to give me some rest so I can be ready to do it again. What I'm doing is I'm learning how to flip houses. I'm learning how to flip houses. Houses with one of the best house flippers out there. His name is Domar Cross. Little young brother. Domar Cross. Say brother. Got a wife brother. Domar. Domar Cross. Praise God. Yes, it is the Lord's warning, Sister Jan Janetta. Yes, it is. His warning not to the sinner. The Bible, this Bible is talking about God's people. You see, I keep talking about God's people messing up, and they keep on messing. They keep on sinning. Oh, but anyway, so let me tell you. So see, we're the salt of the earth. When we go somewhere, we're supposed to represent. And so when I went to the class today, I represented. I was the oldest thing there. <laughs> I was the oldest person in the meeting trying to talk about Re doing a career at the age of 17, you got that right. I'm getting ready to live. 
And so they called on Mama Pam. You know they do. They called on Mama Pam because they was talking about some brother. He was all clean. He was. He was. He was. Other people just struggled in any kind of way. They don't look like this about no business. But this brother was clean as the bill of health. And so they were saying what they were saying. And I raised my hand and said, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. So they put the mite on me. They said, who are you letting Pamela Dobson talk? I said, let me tell all y'all something. I said, I think I'm probably the oldest person in here. But I dare say I could say I look, I didn't say this, but I was thinking, I look better than some of these folks up in here. And when I told them how old I was, they were all taken aback. But this is the thing. I got my clothes on. I ain't running that booty naked. I look like somebody that's got some kind of respectability because I got to represent 70. I got to represent this age. As a woman of God, though, I'm the salt of the earth. Not them peoples. Them babies doing what they know how to do, sinning. Until they see somebody that looks different, that conduct themselves different. It's like, oh my God, that, that lady's different. Praise God. So the young man that's over the class, he's his, his dad is a preacher. Brother Cross, he said his father's a minister. I said, okay. I said, you know what? I've been meaning to tell you something. Quit saying everything sexy in your videos because you're going to get in trouble. Because, you know, these men now, if they say, oh, you sure are sexy, that's an uh, uh, assault, sexual assault, sexual harassment. And this little young man is doing excellent in his career. He's a millionaire, millionaire, millionaire. And you know the devil want to tear him down. I said, quit, son, quit saying everything sexy. Find another word or something. And, and I fussed him out real good. And then I took my seat. I said, okay. So he said, well, look like I got me another mom. Mom Pam is going to have to be my mother. And then as he went on with his meeting, he would get ready to say that sexy word. He said, oh, I can't say that. I'd say amazing. I'd say sweet. How about sweet? Is that okay, Mama Pam? So I went to the meeting today. And I represented the body of Christ. I represented how a woman of God is supposed to conduct herself and how a woman of God at my age is supposed to look. Amen. With my $5 bling. Ain't this some beautiful jewelry? I look like a million dollars. You can't tell me I don't look like a million dollars. $5 jewelry. Five, five dollars. I'm a little red. Five dollars. Go to 7minutebling.com. 7minutebling.com. S-E-V-N for seven. S-E-V number, S-E-V number seven N is how I spell mine. Okay, everybody, this concludes our read for today. Again, I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pam Dobson. If you are led to be a blessing to the ministry, send your donation to paypal.me forward slash Pam Dobson, paypal.me forward slash Pam Dobson, or dollar sign Mama Pam 23. I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am not a four or five or one C three, so you ain't gonna get nothing for your from what you bless me with. You just wanna bless me, bless me, okay? All right, so that's it for the backup. God bless you until Monday.